So everybody always says, right? Start up a TikTok, start up a YouTube channel. But nobody really tells you the fundamentals to get going, right? I'm here to help you out on how to start editing your videos for TikTok and YouTube so you can have a successful push on those platforms so you can supplement your stream. So let's get into it right now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ray's Night Shift, where we talk about everything streaming related. So again, I'm going to tell you guys about this program called DaVinci Resolve. And what DaVinci Resolve is, is a video editing platform that allows you to edit your streams, make videos, and then edit them on the platform. It's a free product, so by all means, go ahead and use it. It's what I use to edit these YouTube videos, so I can personally vouch for these guys. And again, the best part about it is that it's free. If you use Adobe Premiere, while it is a powerful, powerful tool, it's 20 bucks a month. So if you don't have the best microphone, the best camera, the best lighting, by all means, it allows you to actually save up and buy those products first before you worry about the editing software. So let me preference this by saying I am no editing master, but I can get by on YouTube as far as editing my own videos. By all means, I've been honing in on my skills and making them better and better with each video, right? As you should strive to do, because honestly, using DaVinci uh, Resolve is really intimidating, especially if you've never edited videos or anything like that. But I promise you, the more you get get with it, the more you stick to it, the better you're going to get, the easier it's going to be to edit your videos. Honestly, these videos used to take me like three, four hours to edit. And you wouldn't think so because they're, they're relatively quick. Now I understand how long it's going to take me to edit a video just by how much I'm stumbling over my words, how much I'm actually screwing up my lines, right? So everything gets better and better the more momentum and the more... You know the more times you practice so davinci resolve is going to be the same thing but anyways let me show you guys a, a quick example on how you would edit a TikTok video for example so this is what it's going to look like when you kickstart davinci resolve after you've pretty much downloaded it and you know installed it and everything right so boom, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, boom. nothing too crazy but essentially i'm not even going to make a video for you guys as far as like you know, I already I already have a video made, right? I already created a video. So the first thing you're going to do is see this page. These are all some of my prior videos. And, you know, here's my outro and intro. I just I made my outro and intro with DaVinci Resolve. So you're going to see them actually in this video. So if you like it, by all means, it, it just shows you some of the capabilities of DaVinci uh, Resolve here. But anywho, um, Untitled Project, that's all you're going to see when you first start. Go ahead and click that. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to be brought over to this page right here. Now on this page, it looks a little intimidating and I'll admit it really is, <laughs> especially when you first start off. But let me go ahead and drag in my video onto the media pool. It's going to say to change frame rate. I always change the frame rate to whatever the, the regular timeline is, but this is one of those things that you know, when you talk about frame rate, if you want super slow motion, you want a higher frame rate. That way, when you cut down the frame rate, it, it's really smooth like butter when you when you see it. But again, this is one of those things that you're going to have to learn over time. And overall, this is just a quick video. I don't want to intimidate any of you guys on frame rates. Just go ahead and change frame rates. It, it's fine. Now, once you're here and you have your video in the media pool, go ahead and drag it down here onto your timeline. Now, once it's on your timeline, switch over here to edit. And you're going to see this is just an ad I made, right? So someone could, I never ended up using this, but essentially I wanted to make a little button for the follow button, right? So whenever someone was checking out my stream, I could quickly pop in this video and people could be reminded to, oh, follow my YouTube and stream. Hey, back then we had 56 subscribers. We're at 75 now. Let's go. All right. So let's pretend this was your video, right? That you wanted to create a TikTok out of. Um, what you would do is go to file and then go to new timeline and it's always going to be checked for using project settings. Uncheck that and then go to format. When you're at format, the size for a TikTok is the complete opposite of the usual. So right now it's 1920 by 1080. You're going to swap that to 1080 by 1920. So check this out. 1080. 1920. All right, as you can see, it already looks like a TikTok video. As you can see, it's, it's got the vertical lines. Uh, now what I have to do is go back to my video 
and drag it back down into the timeline. So, oh, wait, let me show you guys what I did because you can't really see it because my border camera here. But essentially, all I did was drag this down right here. And that's it. So once it's on here, if I press play, this is what it's going to look like if I was to upload it right now, right? Um, personally, uh, you can do so much with the editing at this point. And uh, if you go to effect library, there's just so much little text that you can add filters. Um, it really, you're going to have to just play around with DaVinci Resolve at this point because I can't go too in depth. If not, this video would be super long. I'll do more uh, tutorials for anything I know of. Go ahead and comment below if there's anything you are interested in or have a question on. I'll be happy to help. But essentially at this point, say I didn't want it like right in the middle of my screen, right? What I could do is actually zoom into the video. And, you know, let, let's say you wanted the whole thing covered, right? This is a bad angle, but let's pretend this was your video and it actually looked good, right? Um, you can change your zoom ins, your zoom outs, change the position of where you actually want this video at right and uh that's a real simple way of doing it like if you want not much editing by all means you can start with that but i would suggest actually polishing up your tiktoks as well but the most important part is that it's entertaining and you tag your tiktok correctly i mean that's really what's going to help you flourish on tiktok anyway right is the entertainment value and really just it doesn't even have to be that polished i mean a lot of these just look like they're really quick so by all means all you need is a good premise but let's say this was it right Let, let's pretend that this video even though it looks terrible right now you messed around with your video and you put in the effects you wanted how would you actually render it out and by render it out it just means pretty much turning it into an actual video what you do is go over to this uh deliver button right here it looks like a rocket ship go ahead and click on that and change the location right here to wherever you want to save it to I usually just do desktop that way it's easy to find uh, change your file name to whatever you want so you can name it TikTok. and all these settings right here as far as the frame rate for the most part I always leave it alone um, you can be a little more in-depth later on but for the most part if you're try trying to just upload a TikTok, you're gonna be just fine so resolution 1080 by 1920 okay so what you're going to do here is hit this bottom button. Oh, well, you can't see it because my border here. Let me let me fix that for you guys. So add render queue is right here. So you're going to tap on that button and then you're going to press render all over on the right hand side. So depending how quick your PC is, pretty much your CPU processing strength is how quick this process is going to take. But for the most part, TikToks are only like what, 15 to like 30 seconds or so. So this shouldn't take a long time to render. I mean, this one's already at 50%. So yeah, honestly, it's it goes by pretty quick. All right, so it actually tells you how long it took. On our computer, it took 32 seconds. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy, but essentially we can close this out now. If you wanna save the project, you totally could. Uh, I'm not going to save it since this is just a rough draft. And you head over here to TikTok, right? Uh, this is the video we created. And there it is. As you can see, it has the, the funky border pretty much and it's vertical. The only reason you can't see up here is because it's black and it blends into the sides. But this is a vertical video. So at this point, you can upload this to TikTok if you wanted to. And that's really all you need. So that was pretty much my short and sweet video for the week. Um, by all means, DaVinci Resolve is a powerful program. Again, uh, you could do so many things. This outro is actually created by DaVinci Resolve as well. So yeah, there, there's so many things you can do with this platform if you stick with it and actually continue to practice your skills on this thing. So this is me giving you guys a base. It doesn't cost anything. It's very effective and it's going to get the job done and pretty much anything you need it for, for the most part, unless you get into more cinematic stuff is you know pretty much getting into cinematics is where you'll start seeing the wall of oh maybe i should pay for the pro version but for tiktoks i mean by all means go ahead and use this software same thing for your youtube videos i mean i didn't have to create a timeline strictly for tiktok i mean i could have edited my youtube videos as you know i usually do so by all means go ahead and use this software to get you going on your tiktok here instead of just using your phone 
And uh, I think you're gonna have a good experience. Not only will you learn how to video edit, but your videos are gonna be a lot more polished. Chances are they'll stick out a little more. So I hope this helps you guys. So at this point, if I have earned that like, by all means consider hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel. Again, I do make this content weekly. And if you wanna catch me live on Twitch, by all means, it's the same name, Raise Night Shift. So comment down below if you have any questions that maybe I didn't cover here or you need more clarification on, and I'll be happy to help. But with that said, hope you guys enjoy your TikTok creating journey. I am done for this episode here on Raise Night Shift, and I will see you guys on the next one. You guys take care.